terminal of the tsunami and today I will explain for you the tsunami issue. Enjoy! One of my favorite parts about going to the beach is watching the ocean and the waves splashing against the rocks. All the waves are like that, small and calm, but once in a while there's a really huge kind of waves called tsunami, or also sometimes tidal wave or seismic wave. So where is it? First, a tsunami comes from two Japanese words, su which means harbor and nami which means wave. In fact, it's a series of waves which can reach 3 meters tall and 600 miles per hour of speed. A tsunami can be caused by earthquakes, landslides or underwater explosions, but it's usually caused by earthquakes. So let's go see this video to understand more. Earthquakes are always caused by the movement of two huge tectonic plates. So when a plate slides off the other, it releases an energy that causes a huge wave called the tsunami. So, what is the difference between a northern wave and a tsunami wave? A northern wave is always superficial and caused by the blowing of the wind. But a tsunami wave is spread over the depth of the sea and it gets bigger when approaching the coast. As we see the difference between the two pictures, the first showed land before the catastrophe and the second showed land after, so the water have immersed that part of the land. So what are the damages can a tsunami provoke? There is only one or two tsunamis per year, but it makes a big splash. It can destroy dwellings, infrastructure and the vegetation. However, it causes a lot of human losses. Victims carried by a tsunami can be projected violently or chopped under the destroying dwellings. So, what are the solutions? We cannot avoid a tsunami, but we can prepare for it. As a plan, we need to install an alarm system allowing to alert the population before the catastrophe, creating caps in high areas where the tsunami cannot reach it and sensitize people about the dangers of a tsunami. I hope that you have got an idea about the tsunami issue. Thanks.